Well, good day there, podcaster. Another episode of Meet the Team. Uh, Bell, Bell said you've you've tracked down the intro because we forgot there was an intro well, for this last time. Oh. oh yeah, you skip the ads. Yeah. We don't want ad, we don't want pre-recorded ads. You, you about big Meet the team this time. This website will beat up by a further Here we go. 5%. How good? Exclusions apply. See website for details. Bell don't playing miss it from Black her Friday phone at OfficeWorks. Shop in store or okay, online yeah. today. All right, right. Got enough of that. Good day there, podcaster. Oh, and welcome to another episode. Yeah, see, of no the intro. Team this oh. time with producer Bro. There's music, but there's no there's no theme. There's no intro. Yeah. Um, this one should be called. Yeah, meet I, that the... really wasn't worth hearing no, the office works really. ad for. Um, this one should be called Meet the Teen. Meet, yeah. meet, meet the Teen. Meet the Teen. I would say Meet the Teen. Tina. <laughs> Tina. How do you spell? Is are you Tina with an I or Tina with an E? Double E. Double E. Changing it up a bit. Tina. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> now, Tina, you are the newest member of our team, producer Tina. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, I mean, we, so we probably know the least about your journey. I mean, we recently did a sort of interview with you, so we know a little, little bit of this and that and some of the stuff you've done. But, mm. yeah, run us through Tina. And quickly, just for the context, so Tina is new Tom. Well, Tom yeah, is new Tom. old Tom's Tina. old Tina. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, Tom right. left, um, and then we now have Tina, so that's the same role. What's the What's the title of the role, Tina? This one, Assistant yep. Producer, Project Manager, Audience Engagement, I think. Wow, that's it's a, a long one. Yeah, it's a mouthful, yeah. yeah. It's a long yeah. Huge yeah. terms. It's like two jobs in one. Yep. Yes. yes. Yep. Because, and, and so you you were actually an internal hire. You were in yes. a sales team. Yes. But we sort of felt like maybe you were on the sales team, so then maybe you could work in Breakfast Radio. That was always the plan. Which is awesome. See, I love that. I like it. That that. was the plan for my interview, basically. Yeah. I love someone who can manifest someone, something to the point where they get to where they're trying to get to. That's awesome. Worked out well. It's been a long time in the making, Mm -hmm. though. So, how long were you a a sales cohort for? Um, So, I had my one year anniversary last Thursday. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, a year. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. right. And before you were doing that here at Nova, what were you doing? Um, so I was weirdly working in disability. So yeah. I was a team leader. Uh-huh. Um, so I used to work a teen in my leader. Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> <laughs> teen leader! Everyone follow the teen of my leader, guys. Leader, guys. <laughs> I'm doing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay, so disability Yeah, so I was doing disability for like two years Because yep. I moved back from London where I was doing radio Yes But then yeah, so I was couldn't get a radio job, uh-huh. weirdly enough So uh-huh. then yeah, I did two years of disability, being a team leader Like yep. got promoted through that, which was truly awful yep. Wouldn't recommend it, especially during COVID mm-hmm. But yeah, mm. then before that I was working at the BBC in London That's And that was cool. more like, that was like talk radio Yeah, right? so it was yeah. all just, so I did a stint on like the ver- like probably their version of Smooth. Like yeah. they did like an all request Friday show. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, it was their big breakfast program mm-hmm. there, like AM though. And it was like Brexit. Yes. After eight, what are your thoughts? Call us through. Yes. How big was the team for that? The Tina. The team how big was the teamer? Oh, wow. It was it was it was huge. It was a big rotation of people though. So like right. you would you'd sort of do weird shifts. Like you oh. you'd start like during the morning, then finish the night. But like the team was like 30 plus. Wow. Yeah. So how many people were actively on a show at any given time? So like if you came in for the breakfast show, how many people, would, like roughly? Maybe like, 10. Wow, that's pretty wild. And it would start wild. like you'd come in to be like four people and then they'd come throughout the morning and mm. then you'd have people like the editors would do like an overnight. So they'd come in at 8 p.m. It's like a freaking hospital. Yeah. Wow. Tina, where's my manila folder? Yes. Tina, bring me my coffee. Yeah, it was that kind of that kind of action. And so, where were you? So you ended. So you got to the job in London at BBC, yep. which is amazing. How did you get that job? What was before that? Sheer luck. So I'd finished uni, was mm. working at JB Hi-Fi full time. How long were you at JB for? Um, so I started that when I was at uni as so a sales assistant, like, as no, a salesperson so on, the, on the counter. Oh, okay. So doing the two. Yeah. yeah. Did you have any you. stretches back then, or any sort of like sort of? Did you have like black hair or anything? No, I didn't fit the mold. Like I was no gonna say, you don't look. You don't no. look like yeah. a JB yeah. Hi-Fi chick. I was the youngest one there. Like mm-hmm. I was not just... even a, like a facial piercing or no, anything. No, nothing, wow. No, so that was like nothing. a prerequisite. Yeah. So you didn't wear like cut off shorts and like Converse or anything. I wore Converse. Well, like okay, okay. Do you have some badges on your lanyard? I did. Yeah, yeah. Now we're starting to get the profile yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I Otherwise. thought that the uh, people who worked the counter at JB also were the salespeople. No. Oh, it's no. A oh, different, it different? Role. Interesting. Well, maybe at other stores, but where I was, it was just you were counter, just counter, counter, counter only. Actually, yes, that makes sense because I went on the weekend and I went to the counter yeah. and I asked her and then she was like, "Yep," and then she called some guy and then yeah. he escorted yeah. me to. Yeah, right. JB feels like the a young person's Harvey Norman. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Because cool, I went uh, to yeah. get a speaker, and yep. I could have gone to Harvey Norman, yep. but I was you like, go JB. Yeah. yeah. It's just a bit, bit, bit more contemporary. Yeah. You know, the music's a bit, the music's a bit cooler. Music, yeah. mm. You might have a guy being like, 
giving you the stats of things yeah. like, yeah, that speaker's pretty cool, like that decibel level. Yeah, I'll buzz, a... I love when they buzz back to the warehouse. I'll see if I got that for you, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, I got a, and that, <laughs> lot of like, throw, like, you know, just tossing the box around, like, yeah. just, like tapping the box, like, flicking around. Like, <laughs> even when they're scanning it, they're real chew with it. Like, just scan that one up. You, yeah. like, you actually get a, like, a bit of a discount on that one, so I can try to throw this in for you, like, <laughs> JB Hi-Fi. So you're and JB they, they, Hi-Fi. Do you know they are? Yeah. Like, at JB Hi-Fi, they're real bag checkers, aren't they? They're, yeah. You know, oh, I, you know. Normally you just have someone at the door, but they're like they really want to look in your shit. Because their shit is expensive. Mm. <laughs> it's you know, not I respect, just Kmart. What I respect about JB Hi-Fi is it still has a DVD section. Yeah, and, and a I, CD and I, section. And a CD section, yeah. and I, I really like looking at the box sets and records. I love a box set. Yeah, because mm. so I go, oh, look at that. They got the scrubs. They got the bones. I like that. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, so sheer luck. So you're at JB, <laughs> yes. and then so I worked with someone from Scotland, and he knew that I was moving. <laughs> She's laughing at bones. <laughs> they got the bones. I don't want to get in Ben for his birthday next year. Bones. I am um, Blu-ray. The reason I always say bones is I never watched it growing up at all. I was a Scrubs guy for sure. Bones. I watched it ten times. But uh, when my wife Sam and I were on our honeymoon and we were in Morocco and we were staying in Marrakesh and we had this uh, hotel and it was there wasn't much around us except for the hotel. So. We would either be by the pool or we would be in our room and it had Moroccan TV, <laughs> which was in a different language. But there was one TV channel that was English and they just had reruns of Bones on. And I liked it. I thought it was a funny show. And so I remember watching probably like 20 episodes of Bones on our honeymoon. It's a cute like memory to have yeah. with it. And I know that that's probably what, what you just found out that Sam was pregnant. So it's like, you know, yeah. it's just very, yeah. it's yeah. Cool I'm very memory. pro Bones. Anyway, sorry, Tennessee. So did, did you JB Hi Fi? Yes. Yeah. Worked with a Scottish guy who knew I was moving to London, so gave me a random name. Oh, yeah. seriously. And so then I emailed her, and she was like, I can't help you email this person yeah. who just so happened to work at the BBC. Oh, the hustle. And then, yeah, she I emailed her, and she was like, We have nothing, try again in two weeks. Yeah. Two hours later, an election got called. Yeah. And this was like my first week in London. Yeah. And then two hours later, she emailed oh, she- me like, can, can you come in tomorrow? You went to London without the job, though. No, so I was going to do like teaching assistant just in the, like the meantime. Yeah. So I'd like set myself up with the. Yeah. But then you happen to get again. You manifested. Yeah. yeah I love and that. then yeah, Tana. she literally just emailed me. She's like, an election's being called. Can you come in tomorrow? And then I got the job. Whoa. On the spot. So it was just like sheer luck. With no experience. Well, no, I was fresh out of uni. That's wow. Yeah. That's impressive. I like that. You study? You've, you've what did you certainly made the path for yourself. Yeah. 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 Um, well, Tina, uh, before we love and leave you, three this questions. Is hard, yeah, this is hard for you to do. Yeah, you've three, only been here for, three, what are you now? Three questions. Third day. Uh, third third so, day, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Favourite thing so far? Um, so far, probably just been working with you guys. Oh, like the whole team has been great, yeah. Whole um, uh, the whole Tina? Ah, very good. Uh, second <laughs> question, um, least favourite thing? Um, probably just adjusting to waking up at four in the morning. Yeah, that's, that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah that's throwing me out of whack a bit. Um, yeah. final what time are you going to bed? I went to bed at 7.55 last night. That's the trick. I was wrecked. That's the trick, though, but try and train your body to go to bed early, get in the habit, and then that way you won't be so wrecked in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last question, uh, favourite episode of Bones? I've never seen Bones. Whoa! <laughs> you seen Bones? No, but I've seen ben. Angel, who like is the same guy, isn't it? Well, don't say that around Ben. He loves don't, the Bones. Don't look yeah. at Ben. He's only watched it like three times. No, nah, so he's a big fan of Bones. I love Bones. I Bones box set. I've been in his okay. house. He's got the T-shirt with Bones on it. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Tina. <laughs> Thank you, thanks, Tina. Tina. <laughs> I appreciate that. This will forever be the episode where we talked about Bones. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about JB Hi-Fi quite a bit as well. Thank you, Tina. Appreciate that.